movieweb.com. Yes. Thanks, Kirk. I think I lost my iPhone. Calm down, I'll call it. Hello? Hello? Thank God you have my phone. Would you just hold on to it for me? You're not supposed to be on your phone. It's bad for the plane. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a plane doctor? No? So shut the hell up. I'd like to make it up to you. Do you like hockey? Yes, I do. I don't get it. Why would she ask me out? Are you nervous? <laughs> Yes. This Molly is a hard 10. Meanwhile, the guy's a five. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Nailed it. I brought a girl with me, so please don't be a jerk. Are you a hooker? Dylan. Or a prostitute, I mean? Nope. Well, come on in for a dip, girl. Yeah. You know what? I don't even have a bathing suit. Now, underwear is fine. Underwear would be fine if I were wearing any. I gotta ask you a question about being cast in this film. Yes, sir. As the the perfect five, uh, wh what does that feel like? Tell me about that process. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to swallow a bit of my pride. It's a it's a it's a mix of uh, uh, flattery and depression. Uh, uh, flattered that somebody wants to hire me for anything. Uh, depressing that uh, this is how people see me. Uh, no, but I, I just you know. Any, any actor uh, is subject to, uh, to vanity and narcissism, and I had to throw those to the wayside, eschew them, because this never would have worked if I kept thinking of myself in a certain light. So I just, uh, um, I was just psyched to be there. I just really dug the chance to make this movie, and I got to make a movie with a bunch of really cool people. So in the end, it was worth it. <laughs> when I read it, and um, you know, there was like the 20th reference to how repulsive I was. Oh, come on, for God's sakes, like, you know, I'm, I'm happy you guys want me, but really, I'm that ugly? Jesus. Um, I want to ask you a quick casting question. Um, what did you say when your agent goes, we've got a film for you and you're the perfect 10? How does that help your ego out? My agent didn't say that. My agent called me up and he went, you didn't get this film, you didn't get this film, you didn't get this film, but you got shoes out of my league. So I was like, oh, I didn't, oh, I was taking all those bullets. And then finally digested the fact I got shoes out of my league and went into, I was doing a play at the time, and went into the next dressing room, my friend's dressing room, busted my toe on the chair, and was on the ground crying. So I think I was a little overwhelmed by it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I um, I didn't know if it was gonna work out with, with scheduling, and it was kind of, um, I was doing another movie called Confessions of a Shopaholic, and there was a bit of an overlap, and I wanted to do the movie. It was only an overlap of like three days, and I was like, please work it out, please work it out, and it was sort of a stressful situation, but in the end, I, I got to do it, so. There's a million examples of guys like Kirky ending up with beautiful women. Such as? La Lovett and Julia Roberts. Right, Richie Sambora and Heather Locklear, and then he went on to Denise Richards. Yeah. All recording artists. Normal rules don't apply to those guys. Kirk. As soon as you record an album and it goes platinum, you can doinky doink anybody you want to do. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, King Kong and Naomi Watts. Never consummated. Totally platonic relationship. I thought the uh, the airport TSA stuff was absolutely hilarious. And those employees are always so beleaguered and they always get all the bad press. Talk about playing those roles as TSA employees and did you get any experience working with the people there? <laughs> We did. We did every day going in. It, we shot in a, in, in, in a not an abandoned wing, but a wing that wasn't working in the Pittsburgh airport. So every day we had to go through about 45 minutes of of shakedowns, all the equipment, all the actors, 300 extras, push. And it's you, once we're in there, it's kind of like being in jail. I mean, you weren't allowed to leave till the day was done. Um, and there were certainly some uh, some very extra heavy petting and searching from the from the TSA agents looking at us, thinking that we were defiling their their, <laughs> their their careers, which which we weren't. I mean, we weren't. You know, it's not meant to poke fun. Well, kind of it is. Um, it's it's not meant to bash them at all. Um, it was just who these guys. We happened just happen to be bad at our jobs. That doesn't <laughs> mean that right. all TSA people <laughs> are bad exactly. at their jobs. But there was a thing when you put on the uniform, and then you'd see there someone was. else in uniform, and you're like, I, I get excited and think like, I'm you, and they would look at me and think like, you are not me. Right. <laughs> you wish you were me, and you're it's not. not. It'll be very difficult flying after this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're on a watch list, right? Yeah. yeah. Why, why am I in every <laughs> random screening? <laughs> I have had to go through the puffer machine way too many times. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we shot at Pittsburgh Airport for like, what was it, like two or three weeks or something? And also, given the fact that I live in, in Montreal and usually and often work in the States, I. I'm traveling constantly, and uh, and uh, 
<laughs> the guys at the airport in Montreal are are uh, are, <laughs> are pretty hilarious. They're always like they're always like, hey bro, how's it going? Hey, good, good. TV, TV. You know the Habs came through here. The hockey team came through here. So I I uh, I kind of I knew I knew what the deal was. I think and uh, and you know and and. Um, and then as we were at the airport in Pittsburgh, every time I'd walk through, because we had to clear security twice every single day, I'd always like have my little outfit on and be like, "So, are we are we copacetic? Are we kind of no, not even they, they, they. The last thing they were was impressed by me. Dude, cut it a little closer, why don't you? Hey, I think I lost my iPhone. I left it in security. Well, here, calm down. I'll call it. Hello? Who's this? I don't know, might be the guy with the new iPhone. Who's this? Um, I don't know, might be your worst nightmare. Hi! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hello, thank God you have my phone. My name is Molly McLeish. I remember you very well. What gate are you at? I'll run it right over. You know what? We're actually pushing back right now. <sighs> Excuse me. You're not supposed to be on your phone. It's bad for the plane. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a plane doctor? No, so shut the hell up. You ladies are playing in this film like, you know, you're event planners, but you're like hockey, you're real Pittsburgh girls. Talk about preparing for that part of the characters. I have two brothers who make me watch sport relentlessly, so the hockey side of it, I was quite happy, and Jay knows everything there is to know about hockey, so he would whisper the information to me, and then I would say it. And so his, my education came entirely from Jay Baruchel, the captain of the movie. I also learned a lot from Jay about hockey. We were, it, it was a fun thing to be a part of. All right, um, you've got a lot of great scenes uh, with Alice, who plays Molly, a beautiful actress. Um, talk about working with her, and talk about like the best day filming with her, actually, if you can remember one scene in particular. Yeah, so I'm, I, I was pretty psyched when she took her clothes off. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, and, and, uh, um, and, and getting to see the polar bears was neat. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 being able to shoot at a hockey game was pretty amazing because I'm a if I have any religion it's it's, it's hockey and uh, and I live in Montreal so that's so the fact that I got to shoot at an actual game and then meet Sidney Crosby afterwards was a pretty huge deal for me. The movie kind of took shape every day with all the personalities and talent that was on you know on set the director the very funny comedians. It was very know, collaborative. Kristen did a lot of improvising. We really built the movie as we went along. Yeah, maybe Molly's a little better looking than I am. A little? Are you kidding me? I think that Debbie here is one wicked hot box. Thanks, babe. And this chick of yours makes her look like a pig. What? I got a quick quiz off of this. No. Boom. Honey, you there? Dad? Dad, what the? <gasps> What's this, Kirk? It's a pleasure. Ah, uh, nope. nope. She's out of my league. My shift doesn't start for another half hour, but I was so excited, I came early. He said he was really excited, and so he came early. Does that ever happen to you? <laughs> it just <laughs> slipped out. It'll all add up March 12th. Get rated at she'soutofmyleague.com.